first floor. Mm. Uh -huh. So it's, uh, it was a mandatory regulation. So then uh, very quick, uh, the, the employees got trained because it's the same process over and over uh, for all buildings. It just changed the measurements, but it's the same process. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Wow. After um 2019, I remember we we fell heavily into into COVID pandemic. Um, uh -huh. was that a heavy moment for the company? Yes, it was heavy. I'm guessing uh, the year first we yeah. are we are so worried about the health of of, of the employees and of everybody. Yeah. So in that time, we have two groups. And then we carefully uh, provide a lot of uh, sanitation, like hand sanitizer. Uh, we provide the, the portable restroom with uh, washing, uh, hand washing, uh, including. So then the state of California changed uh, constantly the regulation. The inspectors, uh, they want to have a log in front of the building, every everybody's coming in. They 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 would like to have a, a login sheet, mm. so that add uh, all the require the the requirements adding like more hours of work in the office and in the field. More that means yeah. That means if the estimation is uh, let's say uh, let's say eight week of labor. Then now we have to spend uh, nine weeks and a half because all the time it takes to log in, uh, constantly washing hands, keeping the distance. You know, if they work in um, and two of them, they hold in a, a piece of lumber. They have to be very apart. So they have to take the time, like go away or there. So yeah, and also distance. yeah. So then you know this the six feet apart the regulation. So all the all the employees are very scared. Mm. So they they make they make them to be slow, slow in the in the field. And here in the office, uh, two employees are constantly uh checking for updates. Uh -huh. updates like how to handle a COVID case, uh, how many days you have to pay uh, for sick days for employees, mm -hmm. and what is the the forms you have to fill it up. So it was a big expense of uh, on our business. Uh, I wanted to ask for the inspection and the timesheet of the writing for the restrooms and what it is for the washing machine and the washing station. Was that a um, compliance for OSHA? Or who was, uh, was it? The it, state? Was, it was a uh, state of California and it was uh, San Francisco building department. I'm guessing it's like- And later- Later, workers come in sure and also ask for that, uh, have all the regulations in place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They also wanted to see that you guys were doing that. Yeah, because we have to provide a safe environment for the employees. Employees. Uh -huh. And also all the cleaning supplies like have bleach at the site, have uh, a nice. sanitizer, uh, uh, bleach. Uh -huh. You know, everything kills germs. Like we have to have like the towels, the the Lysol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They have the masks, the gloves. Yeah, the mask mainly. So then, uh, it's uh, more expenses on on that. Uh huh. In the time of the COVID. Now, after that happened, and uh, I'm guessing that was like 2021, 2022. And 2020. And 2020. 2020 and 2021. Um, 
Mm -hmm. uh, did you notice that as soon as 2021 was coming to an end, uh, things started picking back up? Uh, that it was still stagnant. It was hard maintaining jobs and hard to do. Yeah. You know, to, sur to survive, uh, federal government uh, start to approving PPP loans. Mm -hmm. It like that. So for all the business that are having hard time with the COVID-19. Uh, so then we were able to apply for a loan. Oh, nice. uh, they uh, they, uh, they approve it. Uh -huh. That loan is based on uh, providing all the payroll records and all your financial statements. So then uh, uh, they calculate uh, the expenses of a business like like us and they provide a loan of seventy thousand dollars for us for the, uh, the payroll going uh-huh yeah okay. to keep the business running that is from the federal uh federal government uh-huh wow that's very good information i didn't know yeah. that it was like uh um i remember doing uh i heard it was edd for unemployment like people who were like unemployed and they're like, well, we need assistance and they applied for that. But I didn't know that PPP was something different. That it, it was, was a loan. A that is a loan. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then um the state of the state of California uh with a regulation to pay uh 40 hours an employee to recover from a COVID nineteen positive test. Oh, 40 okay. hours so we as a as a business owners uh we have to pay the employee for at least 40 hours the but later few months later it was 80 hours mandatory wow why did it change uh-huh because they keep seeing like the people need to recover you know the respiratory things or all, the health, all, the all the effect. energy, all the energy in the body that get very low with the COVID nineteen. So mm -hmm. then the business has to pay eighty hours to an employee who has a positive test, wow. and which which um all our employees uh, got uh, infected by COVID nineteen. Some of them get paid forty hours. Uh, some of them get paid eighty hours. Uh, but all of them got infected with COVID-19. Patricia, give me one second. I'm going to stop uh -huh. you. Um, it says uh -huh. I have around 10 minutes for the last Zoom. I'm going to um, okay. stop this one, save it, and I'm, I'm guessing if I can send you another Zoom link, uh -huh. um, you might be able to hop back on it, and we can continue. Okay. Uh -huh. Give me one second. Okay.